So Vince, we're back here today um, on this large rotary project again. And I suppose it's kind of like a force fix in a project. Um, we're, start, we're standing here at the entry to the collecting yard. So um, I suppose, look, width-wise, what do you recommend? First of all, I take the exit out of the shed and I take the width of the roadway. When cows leave a paddock, they come out a gap, maybe 20 feet wide, six meters approx, mightn't be even that. And they come onto a narrow road, weighing maybe 12, 14, 15, 16 feet wide. But as cows will not hog the, the wire on both sides. They will keep on whatever width you will give them. So normally when the cows are leaving the field, they're leaving a grove at the start. And as they enter the roadway, they space out, it's like a marathon. When start, people start leaving a marathon, they single out. Mm. It doesn't go the full width. Mm. Same with the cows. Okay. So the cows have plenty of room to go into the yard. The bigger the gate, the harder to handle. The handier the gate, the easier to close. The easier to store away. Falls, whatever the story is, maybe with a wheel, maybe not with a wheel. But both of these gates are sheeted, one on the left and one on the right. Okay. Uh, one gate or two gates here on this side? One gate. Okay. And um, one gate on the other side as well. Okay. And the advantage of that over two? Uh, running after two gates in the wind or whatever the story mm. is when it is outdoor. Obviously will be covered, but one gate is easier to handle, even to force cows into a yard. Mm. But in this yard, probably won't be forcing them in because they have plenty of space. A white sheet to gate? Blank to stop the cows that are passing on the outside, going to the field to stop the vision of the cows, seeing them, drawing them back against the gate instead of taking them to the parlour. Right. Not everyday occurrence, but uh, not so bad here. In some yards it would be. You want to block the vision. Okay. What size steel will be in that? Uh, two inch box frame, uh, two mil sheet, uh, sheeting folded. Folded into, welded in in every four foot section with a vertical bar, every four foot, sheeting folded. So each sheet is four foot approximately and you'd space your gate into whatever length your gate is. Right. Hanging off the wall or is there a uh, leg going to the ground? Hanging off the wall. Okay. With um, two 70 degree hangers. Uh, keep her to the wall here. Right. Um, and the same on the opposite side. Yeah. Only the two gates are hanging opposite to each other. Yeah. And she, cannot, she can't come in as such? No. Cannot Safety come in. or what? Or? Backing gate. Yeah. If the backing gate comes up and catches the gate, it'll take the wall here. Okay. So it's once the backing gate passes up, gate opens, cows can come back out the same gate to the wind in. Right. If you want to. Yeah. So the, the recess here, why is there a recess? When the cows are coming from the field, if that was a full open space of a gate going from here to the back wall, or from there to the back wall, when the cows are coming, there's obviously a space between the backing gate and the wall for the boxes or whatever. Yeah. Cows are going to take the lovely route, the cattle crush at the back. So the blanket, it blocks their vision, they're blocked out of it, and the cows are free to go on the right direction, and the gate is free to go, Okay. with no cows behind them. Why not a fence instead of a wall here? My theory is weather, E. coli mastitis, cows freshly calved out of a hot, water, or hot shade or whatever the story is, or a temperature shade, and come out and left standing in a breeze. A lot of cases uh, can cause E. coli mastitis and not nice to work with. Okay. It is probably as cheap today to do a wall as a railing. Okay. Might not sound that, but it, it is. Yeah. I'd love to be selling a railing, but wall is cleaner anyway. It eliminates the field. It eliminates from what's happening in the yard. It's out of the way. Wall is a wall. Something is back into a railing. They don't want the wall as such. Does a slight fall this way here then? Is there the, the uh, seepage back into the slat? Okay. Yeah. Anything different then on the, the entry here? I suppose there's paddocks on the far side and there's also the shed. Well, the cows will be most of the time entering from that side. Yeah. This is rare. Uh, most of his land would be in that direction, to the underpass. Here, it wouldn't be. Okay. So... So will the gate swing a different direction here? Uh, hanging, um, entering into the yard on the left-hand side. S hanging on this side, closing on that side, because you have your crushes and your exit races here. And when the backing gate goes up, the cows have the option of going back out the same way as they came in. As the gate moves up? As the gate moves up. Once okay. the gate has gone beyond this gate, you can open this gate and leave the cows back out. Right. If you want to send them in the same direction that they came in on the same day. Okay. 
That's the only reason that gate is hanging there. If it was hanging on that side, it's blocking the crushes. Okay. Every direction is different. Yeah. Every fella's gate is different. Every situation is different. The advantage of the curve here? Uh, it, it, it just nice yeah. and cold round in the corner. Mm. The gate is hung outside the wall in this case, you know. Yeah. Well, it's hung on the, the left hand side and closed on the right. So there's nothing sticking out for the cows round in the corner. Yeah. Any preference to have a, your own square box pillar there for hanging the gate or does it matter to you? Not really a mess concrete. Yeah. But if it was black wall, yeah. Yeah. Prefer a pillar. Okay. But um, nicer to put down a pillar, but we're on slats here as well. Yeah. Very close to slats, walls, foundations. So wall is fine. Yeah. And I have, Say again, there was an opportunity last for putting up a railing, or would you prefer that it's a wall? Or oh, definitely a wall, yeah. dividing the house, entry and exit of the parlour. Okay. Any day of the week. Okay. Why? She's not putting her head out? Yeah, or she's what? not putting her head out. The back and gate go up, the mm. space between us. Mm. Take the head off a coat, every stanchion. Yeah. So to eliminate that, you need to sheet it, or you must put in um, an extra bar. Mm. And if you calculate all that, the wall works out cheaper than the railing on both sides. Okay. I know there's places that you have to put railings and whatever, but if we are a wall, it confines, it confines the shit, confines the shit as well. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Height then, what's the... Minimum, six foot. Yeah, why? Hanging gates, if you want to hang gates off of them after. Yeah. The gate is four foot, a foot underneath the gate. Yeah. And uh, you want something over it, you don't want the hanger right at the top of the wall. The hanger should be going on here somewhere that you don't bust the top of the wall. Okay. Yeah. As we look up, there's one entry there on the left. Side entry for bringing in cows behind or in front of the back and gate rather than waiting for the back and gate to all the way down. If right. he has freshly calved cows or whatever that he wants to bring in the side. Okay. That option is there. Yeah, the option is there. Okay. So you have a bit more fencing to put there in the front or is it going to be a wall there where that's we're seeing the rebar? That's part of the parallel plan now, I think. Yeah. That's the dairy master with the back and gate and all that coming up to it. Okay. Here is one exit. So that's divided there. The gate. The gate, sheet of gate hanging off of here, blocking the vision of the cows leaving the rotary, heading to the exit race or whatever. Yeah. Uh, cows are entering here on your right. Yeah. It's obviously all closed up, and this is obviously a man pass walking up from the side to get into the parlour if you want to. Mm. Uh, the backing gate only comes as far as the roughly within a foot of the wall because of the angle of the gate. Yeah. And can that gate move in this way or not? Or that gate can open in that way. Okay. To leave the cows out of the parlour yard for a test if you want to. Right. Rather than coming off the parlour. Okay. So if you want to not do it while your milking is going on, that gate stores back in front of that, blocking the entry to parlour, and the cows are free to go down here. Okay. And the gate swings here for a reason? 270 degrees. Okay. Oh, to get in, blocking off the front of the parlour. If it's hanging on this side, yeah. it's in the way. More functions this way. The backing gate coming up, number one. Yeah. Uh, it's all the way on that side because the direction is to the right when we leave here. Okay, so we're looking at uh, the handling area. So early days here, maybe a week away, a week away from finishing, 10 days maybe? Uh, probably a bit more. Bins, walls, there's still walls to go up along here. Uh, another wall to go down along here. He was talking about railing this as a man pass. Yeah. Once he leaves the parlour that he can have a man pass down along here. By the wall, to get down into his exit race, or his uh, men, men walk. So this is being gated here at this point, to get in here to the men walk. That's a crush, a wall, a walkway, a wall, with a crush over there. So two crushes so coming off? Two crushes coming off. Yeah. What's the advantage of that? That one crush can be filled while the other one is um, being worked on. Right. And the wall is dividing both. But his reason for his wall here was for keep it clean, washing. Yeah. Where after the railing, all the dirt to be inside here. That is his talk. Yeah. But maybe it may not happen. But that was his thinking the last okay. day was on it. Okay. So you have a bit of a sketch here, I suppose. Well, I just did a sketch of exactly what was happening. That's the parlour yard outside. That is the back of the rotary. There's the pole that we just looked at about while ago. Yeah. The direction of the gate. 270 degrees, she'll go 90 that way, or she'll go 90 this way, and she'll close here. This is where the walkway is, where I was suggesting a walkway with a slip out that you could get out to get in behind the cows in two different places. Yeah. But now he's decided that he's going to put a wall there. And yeah. we still have a gate to get it back in here. Okay. So that was his first crush, that was a walkway. That walkway is wide because he's hoping to plan to cover this yard 
So he's allowing for the width of the poles off of the walkway. Um, rough sketch. Uh, this was another walkway, wall, exit race. With the option of opening this and leaving the cows down the exit race. He has two fixed panels here, then his drafting crate. A gate at the back of it to leave a cow off the rotary into the straw bedded area, if he'll make a straw bedded area. Or he has the option of two way drafting, a three way drafting. Cow comes out here or she goes out there. Coming down along the exit race, he's talking about walling both sides of it. Normally it wouldn't be the case, it would be railed. When he gets down here to, towards the end, we'll say, we'll call this the end of the, the crush here. That wall is running the whole ways down. Um, question came into the situation as we were at it. Foot batting cows, where would he put a foot bat? So we have agreed to come down so far down the yard, put up another wall, hang a gate in that point, which closes at an angle and comes into the foot bat outside it, and the cows are free to go again. So that's your foot bat. Okay. So if he wants to draft his cows from the drafter for foot batting only, they can go into this side if there's nothing else on. When he's finished, that gate actually you now must hang the opposite way. That'll all go down to Thierry and when the poles are stored, which way we want to hang them. So the cows leave the, he has the cows that he has to foot bat in here now, maybe 20, 30 or whatever. Open that gate out and the cows are free to come down here and out. But also, in this area, whenever, he, whenever it will be done, the cows could be drafted to the opposite side, foot battered, no delay, held, following the cows that are going to the field, and they can go straight through the foot bat as well with them. So there's no hold up on the cows. And that's as much as you can make of this, but this wouldn't be a normal thing of walling both sides. Yeah. But that's what he wanted. Yeah. So you can cater for any preference, really, ultimately. Whatever you want, it can be done, but you'll throw the pros and cons in. You'll have to, you'll have to give an ID. It all looks fine in paper. Yeah. It all looks fine up in the drawing here. Yeah. But the reality is what it works out at. This is not real yet because we, the crush is there. The crush is there. The wall is there. But it's not known yet what we're going to do here. Okay. Yeah. So, but that's where you come in, I suppose, in terms of your experience and debating well, things. And yeah, you'd say that gate can't go there. It's hanging the wrong way. Why? It's yeah. just answering the questions of yeah. whatever. Yeah. You have to be following the cows, you have to be with them. Yeah. But depending on the decision then, or Donovan's making that gate or have you it on the shelf? Or making the gate unless there's a stock gate. Okay. And the stock gate comes in foot lengths. Okay. But some of the gates are sheeted so they have to be made. Mm. It depends on the preference of what the farmer wants. Yeah. Like, this is day to day as it goes along is the way this has been put together. Yeah. Like that sketch. It's just a rough sketch. So the first thing that was landed there was the two crushes. Get them up. There's poles here now again, but when the walls are up, we must come back and look at this mm. just to see what is going to be happening. Position that uh, drafter to exactly where there's going to be, where the cows are entering, mm. the angle coming into the drafter, mm. um, the opposite side of the railing above, which is being presumed that he is putting uh, a mass concrete wall there from that pipe that's vertical over the ground, which is his washer yeah. uh, leading into the drafter so the cows are on the draft on the move and they'll be drafting in somewhere in this situation from the which is back about 40 feet from the crush either coming out here or going off the opposite side that section must go back and the gates must go forward yeah okay but it's hard to make out but in saying that is working out okay what he wants to do is the way he wants to do it and that's fine by me so how often would you be here to discuss things like this in a situation like this? I was here uh, 10 days ago now with making out this, maybe a fortnight ago, yeah. making out the crush, that crush is standing. When the next two walls go up now, we'll then have to tidy this area up. Mm. But what I will do then is give the poles where they're to go with a drawing, showing the direction of the gates of where we agreed and what works and walk from there. Come back and measure the gates when the poles are standing. The poles are generic anyway. They're they're up to they're, a they're a stock item. Yeah. <coughs> Unless it's rare, or it is uh, 360. Well, 360 degree poles are there, yeah. 
But in saying that, we may stick a 360 degree pole into that yard yet. Mm -hmm. So if we put a, put a 360 degree pole into that yard, there's his exit race there. If we stick a pole in the middle of that yard, we'll have two gates hanging off it. So that gate will close there, and that gate will come down to this crush here. So that's where that line of cows are going, so they're funneled straight away. So when we have them cows down, that gate closes down to here. So now we want to get the next line of cows down to the crush. So that closes to there, so you close the gate back the opposite way. And the cows are going down to the crush. Yeah. Gives but, huge flexibility that. Yeah, but we haven't spoke about that yet, but yeah. that's another way of veeing the cows rather than they turning on you when they're on the direction. Yeah. Even though cows are used to going that direction every day, they will follow that every day because they know that's out. Yeah. It's not a different routine. It is a different side, but it is in the same direction. They can see the same thing at the end. They're not going back up against the block wall. Mm. They're going to grass, field, whatever the story is. So in this crush here, the cows are going to have a wall on the right as they exit? Okay, this, cow, this crush here, wall on the left. Wall on the left. Okay. This crush here, that's the walkway. This is the next crush, wall on the left. So the walls okay. are on the left as the cows are leaving the crush. Fine. And is that what you'd normally like, a wall on the left? If I was catching a cow, dosing a cow, stalling the crush gate, every fella is different. I would catch with my left and dose with my right. Yeah. I will not catch with my right and dose with my left. Yeah, so you'll force her to the left then a bit then doing that. Yeah, I can yeah. stand at the front gate and I yeah. can hold the cow. Yeah. And the reason the wall is there is to stop the cow going away from you. Yeah. And if she's going away from you on that height of a wall, you can grab her. Hmm. She's not gone down, she's out over it. I probably have, would have had that wall another foot higher. But to prevent her putting her head out. Hmm. But in saying that, it all goes down to the pens as well. Yeah, what you The have. height of the pens. Okay. And they're obviously happy enough with that. It's probably fine. Like 1480 is the height of the crush off the ground. I saw like 1400 mil. And then you go for your 200 mil step. So you're well over the cow. So when the cow rises up, you're you're nearly at her head when she, if she does put her head out over the wall. Yeah. Okay. So Vince, we're at the exit race here now. Um, as cows come out of the drafter, in some places you'd see maybe it's eight feet wide and maybe it's single file then in other, in other jobs. What have your preference for? Single file, I think it would be probably the better one as you'd, uh, one cow will follow the other cow. Two cows, the fellas have the preference that if one cow is too slow going, that the other one will go on beside her. But the only thing is against that is a cow turning around. Mm. Most of them, I will say, single file. And I have done a couple on double lane. Are, are cows more likely to keep moving in single file in a, in a well, race? A cow behind her will push her. Right. She'll push her because she knows that it's out. There's no stop. Once mm. I've gone through the drafter, I'm free to go. Yeah. And I want to go even though you may not want to go. Yeah. Um, other than that, I do anything. But the one thing that's happening in this side of this exit race is being walled in left and right. Okay. Normally it's railed. Yeah. Again, a preference to the farmer. Preference to the farmer, and a lot of it is to do with washing. Yeah. Trying to keep water out of, uh, out of the, the, if he's straw bed area, the drafting pins. Mm that uh, it won't be getting wet. Yeah, so there's potential for straw bedding in here. And yeah, in, yeah, in well, not in probably in this area. That's a drafting pin, but yeah. he has an entry to the shade on the left-hand side over here, where during the winter time that he might shortcut the cows once they come through the draft, they go back there rather than going all the way to the end of the tank, yeah. over and back in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A useful point there. Um, yeah, I would be. But it's obviously more in tail if he's making calving pins out of that. Mm. It's not interrupting them, they're gone in front of it. Yeah. Okay, so go down here. So you, you've, you mentioned about the footpath, that'll be down here in time. The cows are coming down two, down between two walls. And this speff came in about a footpath. We had nowhere for the footpath. So we decided to carry the one wall the whole way to the tank. And we decided to put a gate on the left hand side coming down. So the gate opens in and diverts the cows out into a footpath right beside the exit address. The gate will be open manually or will it be on air? Or oh, what? manually. Yeah. yeah. Manually because you'll be either, you're foot him or you're not. Okay. So it is either open or closed. Fine. 
But on that, that gave the option to throw it away. If you put it up there, you're fouling the air. Mm. It's nearer to the tank as well below here, at the end. Yeah. So will you have a non-return gate then at the end of the, the main exit race? Uh, it depends. Yeah. Is it going full width, double width or single file? Right. So if uh, it was a single width? If it was a single width, yes, definitely. Yeah, hanging off one side, is uh, it? Hanging off the wall on one side. With the wheel, is it? With the wheel. Okay. That would be the preference that you would have it that the cows can't go back up. Okay. May have to put a double, but I don't think it will do if he goes for eight foot wide. Yeah. The distance is too far to travel. Okay. And slow down the cows coming out in as well. Yeah. Okay. And would you, yeah, so that'll, that'll cover off the need for a gate then, cows coming in for milking? Correct. Yeah. Well, there will well. be a gate in the walkway over. You will have your crush gate. Uh, you'll have a walkway gate. You'll have your crush gate. Exit race normally would have a gate. Footbat doesn't need a, a gate. But in saying that, if you're forcing cows, you better have to put a gate there. Yeah. Because they're they're going to go the option even though they don't like going to footbats. Mm. But if they have the option, get away. That's where we'll go through the footbat. Okay. That's fine. So we're back to the main exit then. So they either go right or they go left. Go left. On the slats? Yeah. She's talking about maybe putting a feed barrier all across the end of the, Far end. Uh, the barrier for excess or extra buffer feeding space during the summertime. Yeah. If he wants to, or for the winter time, giving more space to the cows in the shed that they can come out into an open yard, mm. which is all slatted. Probably losing slurry storage in that, but in saying that, it's to be covered in time. Yeah. So it's fair to say here, looking back up here, there's no one plan for a draft in our handling area. I suppose no. there's lots of options. You can turn it and twist it every way you like. Yeah. Just whatever suits the edge you're working on. Yeah. Like that drafter is planked above there. We know it is going somewhere there. Yeah. We know uh, that it's going up on top of the exit race mm. or up on top of the, um, the floor channel. But it is the direction of the cows into it, which is going to be one direction. And you can have whatever directions you want coming out of it. Okay. And I'll wait to be seen to what's going to happen in concrete. Yeah. In two weeks, you'll see the difference. Yeah. But it's one thing having the steel, you need to have, I suppose, that bit of knowledge and that bit of experience that you have. Oh, you to can debate put, it. You can put them just landing gates. Yeah, and, yeah, and yeah, yeah. Make you, 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 you can put gates up everywhere you like. It makes no difference, but you must have the use for the gates, the direction of the gates, what yeah. way the cow is going, yeah. what way she must go. You get them into the crush, get them into the exit race, get them out of the exit race, into the footpath, into the parlay yard, whatever. It's all covered in this. And I suppose, especially with a rotary as well, they're coming off so fast, they'll yeah, be held to pay if it's not done right. You have to get them out. Yeah, have to get them out. So, probably in two weeks, you'll see a lot more mm. when there be more walls and poles standing and mm. more lined out as small bit. Say, lifting a cow's leg here, then just to finish in this area, lifting a cow's leg or uh, a hoof crate or what? Oh, normally would, the hoof crate here is or will it be elsewhere? He's talking about putting it in front here that yeah. he can direct them into it. Yeah. Whichever. But you have the space, I suppose, here with the Oh, you have plenty of space here. Yeah. And the gate is hanging on the left and closing on the right, so it'll still give you the space that's not in your way. Yeah. So if you plank it here in front of this walkway, it's not in the way. Yeah. You can roll it to whichever cross you want to, to bring the cows out of. Yeah. And assume we have power <coughs> there or whatever if you need it as well. Yeah. I think there's contract anyway. Yeah. So they'll, they'll have the rollover crate to just 